Hello, I'm back. Yes, I've been gone quite a while, quite a long time actually, but nevertheless, I'm now back and going forward into next year, I've got loads more projects to come up with. You can see the workshop behind me, bit of a mess. So there's plenty of things in the pipeline that we can do in the workshop to make this place a lot better. But today we're gonna to look at something a little bit different. So in the time that I've been able I've had lots of offers for laser engraving machines and laser engraving isn't something I've ever really had much of an interest in getting into. However, Xtool reached out to me and offered me their latest laser cutting machine to which I said yes because it has a 20 watt laser which is capable of cutting through wood. Now to me, having a tool that can engrave and cut through wood is a much more appealing machine than one that just engraves. So today we are going to have a look at the X-Tool 20 Watt D1 Pro laser machine. As I open a box I'm greeted with this greenness of goodness. Everything here is extremely well packaged. And there are a lot of things in this box. You even get a knife. So I just used a knife to open a box with a knife in. Right, time to get everything unpacked and discard of the box. Check in, I've not missed anything. The two manuals provided surprised me as the instruction manual is very well written with clear diagrams. And the quick start guide has the same brilliant pictures to follow for assembly. It reminds me of a Lego manual, it's that good. Also provided, it has this little tool case that contains all the tools and bolts needed to build the laser engraver. Also included is this pair of highly fashionable protective eyewear for when you're looking at the laser. What an idiot. The assembly of the machine following the quick start guide was super easy. Everything fits into place really well. I fitted the bolts but didn't do them up tight as I wanted to check that the frame was square before coming back and tightening everything up. Now, this is the one bit I struggled with as I don't have child size hands. But with some determination, I was able to get these connectors fitted. Luckily, there isn't many of them. And then the last piece to fit is the laser itself with another connector. And then that just slides into place on the top carriage. Right, so now we've got this lovely machine put together. I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna make myself a spoil board before we do anything else. Now this should help going forward when you're doing laser engraving and cutting because it will have markings on the board so you can center your workpiece perfectly for when you want to do something on it. So first up was to 3D print these feet holders I found on Thingiverse. Then I cut down this piece of 18 mil MDF with the Traxel. And then to finish it off, I gave the MDF a nice professional looking chamfer on the edges. I can then get the feet holders fitted to the board and then the machine just clips into place where it fits nice and snug. Xtool have their own design software called Xtool Creator and that can be downloaded from their website so no need to purchase any third party software. I find the creator software quite easy to use and find my way around it easy enough. 
They even have projects you can download and make yourself. Because I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, I purchased a spoil board design from Etsy for a few pounds just to get me started. Right, so I've prepared the spoil board files, so let's see if it works. I think it came out really well. So as I said, I know absolutely nothing when it comes to laser engraving or cutting. Absolutely nothing. So let's do a little test piece and see where we're at. Now I made this test piece copying similar files I found online. The bottom line is all laser engraving. You can see the power is set to 50% and at the speed of five millimeters per second, I've actually cremated the wood. I can stick the knife blade through it, and over the first three squares, it has left quite a lot of charring. These squares at the top are my attempt to cut through the wood at different speeds and power with just one pass. So, feeling rather confident with my engraving after my rather successful test piece, I set about with my first engraving. Come on. I had to slip this in somewhere, didn't I? So this next test file I've come up with, we're gonna cut through this piece of uh, five mil plywood. Now you should be using a honeycomb bed on the base for the laser to cut through the wood. I've not got one of those yet. There is one on the way. So I'm just going to support the wood on this bit of um, plywood offcut. It's an inch thick, so it shouldn't cut through that and into my lovely new spoil board. And don't forget, it's always cool to laser and style with your funky glasses on. Now you can see here that with two passes over each square, I didn't cut through any. But on the lower section with four passes, I was able to cut through a few squares. And some were just still hanging on very slightly. All I needed to do was to pop them out. Some of these squares do have a little bit of charring on them still. On the back there was even more charring, but as I cut into the plywood support I had underneath, it could also be from that continuously burning. So in this kit was also an air assist pump. An air assist pump should give you cleaner and smoother laser cutting and help with cutting deeper. The pump itself is plug in and play ready. All you need to do is connect the hose up at either end. So just a quick comparison to see what the noise level of this air assist pump is like with it turned on. This is me talking normal. I don't think it's too loud. And now with the pump off this is still me talking normal and you know it's not that loud a noise. Right then, let's try the last test, but this time with the air assist pump connected. Um. Okay, so I've stopped the test because as you saw, it wasn't quite going to plan. So yes, it's gone right the way through the wood, which uh, wasn't the plan. Not only that, a lot of the burning was coming from the fact that it's gone through this great big thick piece of plywood. As I said previously, you do really need a honeycomb board. So I'm going to stop now with the test pieces and wait for this honeycomb board to turn up. And then we can do it properly because although this is fitted with a flame alarm, so as soon as it senses a flame, it should stop. I don't want to go burning down the garage. And one other thing I did notice with the air assist on when it was doing these score passes, 
is it made the writing a lot worse. So when I noticed that, I actually turned it off and you can see the writing was a lot better. And then I turned it back on when it was cutting the squares out. So the next day, Amazon delivered my honeycomb bed. And it also comes with a sheet of steel to protect the surface below it and also reflects a laser. There's a set of four hold down magnets for lightweight material. Okay, so this one with the air assist on. Well, straight away, there's a few little blocks that have fallen out. Um, we've got this burning here. I think it's the speed is too slow, it's too close together, um, and it's just creating too much heat. We've got a block falling out here on the on the top one, so this was two passes, so it did cut it out at 100%. 90% uh, will go. So these, obviously the speed increased on these ones and it didn't cut them out. But as you can see, with the air assist, it has managed to actually cut. So this was the original one without the air assist. You can see it's cut more off here, but it's not quite gone through here. Right, so the last thing to try out on this laser learning experience is the RA2 rotary attachment. Again, super well packed. It comes with lots of different attachments for different cylindrical items. It has bed rollers, a chuck, a center support piece, a height adjustable support and some long finger supports that fit into the chuck for engraving on things like rings. To use the RA2, you need to raise the height of the laser. So these feet come with the laser and they just screw together and then screw into the feet already fitted on the machine. Quite simple really. So I've got this great big bit of pine dowel, so we'll give it a go engraving on that. The chuck with the chuck key is really simple to adjust to the size required. So whilst we watch this engraving, I'll tell you about the Christmas sale XTOL are running from now until the 26th of December. Posted below are links to everything on the XTOL website that currently have huge discounts on them. There are also some Amazon links where you can get 15% off. If any of this interests you at all, then click on the links and check them out. So there we go, that is everything I've learned in the last maybe just over half a day, half a long day, playing around with this laser engraver. You know, something completely new to me and I think I've sort of worked out the engraving part of it but I need to um, play around a bit more to work out the cutting of various different woods. And that's the next thing for the next video. The one thing I want to know and I'm sure you guys are interested in is how thick and what type of wood will it actually cut through? So that'll be coming up on the next video on this X-Tool D1 Pro. Bye.